Introducing SQL Back Explorer. To start inspecting your SQL Server backup files, simply select a backup file in the Explorer window. SQL Back Explorer then reads the file and displays the details in the summary window. These details include the type and size of the backup, the date and time the backup was made, the speed of the backup, and also the various LSN details. In the Details window, you can view even more information on the backup, like the backup name, description, the database's files and much more. Let's select a differential backup file this time. Again, the details of the differential backup are shown in the Summary and Details windows. And again for a transaction log backup file, we can also select all three files together. Now you can quickly compare each of the backup's details in the Summary window. SQL Back Explorer also helps with writing your restore commands. Here, we have selected the full backup file. In the script window, the restore command has been generated for us, based on the available backup details. Hints are provided to help us with planning the restore, such as the required disk space for this database's data and transaction log files. In this example, the folder for the database's file does not exist. Let's create the folder, and create the restore command again. Now, the hint regarding the non-existent folder no longer appears. We can also create the restore script for multiple files together. Here, we have selected three transaction log backup files. In the restore command, we can easily check the LSN values to ensure that we have the files in the correct order. You can also easily customize the folders on where to restore the various database files in. SQL Back Explorer doesn't require SQL Server to be installed to read the backup files. Backup files created using SQL Server 2005 to SQL Server 2017 are supported, including compressed backups, split backups, and files containing multiple backup sets. Only SQL Server encrypted backup files are not supported.